Hey everybody, Shane here, Shoebox Legends. Thanks for joining me today for a quick video response episode. I'm excited to get to this one, and the point of it is to draw attention to a new channel just started up that's a collaborative effort between four people that you probably know here in the YouTube card community. The channel is called Four Collectors with the number four. I will leave a link below in the description in the event that you have not heard of this yet, um, but this is a mashup of four greats from our community forming one channel that's going to focus on interactive, uh, collaborative content, live streams and interviews and Q and A's, things of that nature. So all four of these guys are gonna continue to run their own individual channels, uh, but they're gonna collaborate on this super channel uh, that I'm really, really excited. Uh, and they're kicking it off, uh, or at least uh, one of the early videos on the channel or events on the channel is a giant eight hour long live stream spectacular. You can see it here on my note card, August 27th, save the date from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, all of these individuals, plus a uh, multitude of awesome guests, many of whom you know uh, from within the community are gonna be doing different hour long segments uh, during that eight hour period. And they're giving away a lot of great cards as well. Um, how can you get entered in the giveaway for those cards and learn more about it? Uh, just go check out the video uh, that I'm linking to below. Um, all you need to do is subscribe to them and you're eligible, uh, but you will earn some additional points if you uh, make a VR like this and shout them out. Uh, that is not why I'm doing this. I just generally uh, want to bring more attention to the channel, uh, but I guess I won't turn down the extra entry. Now, uh, if you haven't heard of this, you're probably asking yourself, who are these four people? Well, I'm going to use them to actually complete my VR. Um, so the VR was choose four cards, uh, one each that remind you of four YouTube channels or YouTube personalities. So I'm gonna take the obvious approach and show four cards from my collection that remind me of the four people that are collaborating and making up the four collectors channel. So let's get started. And all four of these cards are new, uh, never shown on the channel previously. So I wanted to add that wrinkle to my challenge. So we're gonna start with the first one, very well known here and uh, been a part of the community for a long time, longer than I have for sure, James over at Elite Hunters. Now James has a very classy channel and collection, or at least that's how I think of him. Uh, I'm sure others may agree, um, gets into a ton of stuff, but he has like just really beautiful old cards, boxing cards. Um, he's in the Triple Crown winners and other collections like that, but. Um, he produces um, videos that are just amazing quality, um, great editing, everything that I don't do here on uh, Shoebox Legends with my analog index card approach, uh, James does a great job of on his channel. So I think of class and classy cards when I think of James. And I found this one, which I'd never shown from the T206 set. Check out this red Clino or Clino catcher for the Boston Americans, so the Red Sox. Um, there is a version of this card where he's with New York on the bottom, so there's two variations uh, in addition to all the different back variations that exist. Um, this is the Polar Bear back, which is I think the only one of these that I have maybe, but I love it. Just really cool, the best scrap tobacco. And uh, I have this from uh, my days as a Red Sox team collector, which I don't really consider myself um, any longer, but also, it fills a uh, second spot in the collection as one of the most beautiful catcher cards that I own. And uh, when I was flipping through my boxes, trying to find uh, the cards to use for this challenge, that to me seemed like the perfect one for James over at Elite Hunters. Next up, the second of the four personalities making up the four collectors, John, a uh, 3D 80s kid here on YouTube. Another great channel. He's been at it about a year. Um, he's actually got his anniversary coming up or just came up. Um, another guy who does a ton of editing and splices in really funny movie clips, things like that. Uh, pretty much a vintage collector, but he's gotten uh, further and further back into pre-war. Uh, loves uh, Willie Mays as his favorite player. And uh, his favorite set, I believe, is 1960 Tops. So for John, I chose the 1960 Tops Stan Musial. PSA 7, I've had this card a long time. I've nearly sold it a couple of times because it's not as centered as I would like it to be, but it is a glorious card, um, beautiful color, really looks like pack fresh. And of course, uh, Stan Musial being someone who gets 
deservedly so, a lot of uh, respect, at least among our community here on YouTube. Uh, maybe not as much as he deserves in the wider hobby, but uh, among the circles that I follow and the videos that I watch, I see a lot of love for Stan Musial. So there's the 60 Stan Musial for John. The third personality is Theo, who I'm sure you know from Clemente Collector, also been on YouTube for about a year, and uh, awesome Pittsburgh Pirates fan, and as the name would imply, Clemente Collector, um, but a really fun personality. I, I really dig Theo's videos. Uh, was fortunate enough to get to do a live stream with him recently on the 53 top set, had a blast with that, and I know Theo's going to bring a lot to the channel with his personality, uh, his interview style, and things like that. Uh, they mentioned during the leadoff video that the next guest really brings a lot of the personality, but I think Theo is selling himself short. He brings some uh, some charisma to the channel as well. So what card did I pick out that reminds me of Theo? Uh, well, it's obviously a Clemente, and it's my 1971 Tops Roberto Clemente. I've never shown this on the channel before either, but it's in a PSA 4, as you can see. Nice low-grade, decent eye appeal like I like to look for. It's one of my favorite photographs on any Roberto Clemente card. So an obvious choice there for Theo. Don't really think I could have done anything but Clemente. Uh, it just made sense. And that takes us to our fourth and final personality and our fourth and final card. Uh, the guy who, as I referred to, was referenced as kind of bringing some needed charisma to the group. The one and only Pepino Man, Caesar. Um, just a legend in our community and one of the funniest guys and one of the nicest guys. Uh, you will encounter on the platform or in the hobby. Uh, love Pepino Man and his content's fantastic. I've gotten to know him a little bit over the last couple of years. And I have a great card to show for you, Caesar. And it comes with uh, uh, maybe a demand here as well. We'll see. But um, I had sent Caesar some cards maybe about a year ago, maybe a little longer now. And as he opened the package, he was wearing his 1989 Tops Steve Jeltz t shirt. And he commented at the time that if I included an 89 Steve Jeltz, he'd go jump in the pool. And unfortunately, I think I had an 88 in there and a 90 and no 89. So we were robbed of the opportunity to see Caesar jump into his pool. Well, today uh, I have, as the card representing Caesar, the 1989 Tops Steve Jeltz buyback. Rediscover Tops gold. This may be the only one of these. 89 top Steve Jeltz buybacks in existence for all I know. And uh, Caesar, I am going to send this to you in the mail and I leave it up to you. Um, I think your fans will probably demand that you jump into the pool when you receive this. Uh, but you know, that's your choice, but I'm just saying uh, it'd be kind of disappointing if you didn't. So uh, perfect card there for P P Pepino man, Caesar, the 89 tops Steve Jeltz. Whoops. I'm going to fix this one. And uh, that will be en route to Caesar. We'll see how he reacts to uh, receiving that one in the mail. So that is the end of my VR here. Quick VR. Uh, but again, a big shout out to these four gentlemen. Um, they are all great people in the hobby who you likely may be following anyway. And uh, please go over and check out if you haven't already subbed for collectors. Make sure to tune in if you're free on August 27th for their live stream. And uh, really looking forward to it. Congratulations, guys, on launching this new venture. Uh, I know the content's going to be fantastic, and I uh, can't wait to consume some of it. So that's a wrap for today. We'll keep it under 10 minutes. Really appreciate your time. Go support these fellow collectors and awesome community members. And I'll be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Till then, take care and enjoy the hobby, everybody. See ya.